If there's one actor who managed to carve out a great career within a short time and build a lasting legacy, it's Stanley Baker. Known for roles in films like Zulu, The Guns of Navarone, Chance Meeting, and Zorro, among others, he remains one of the most respected British actors of all time. Join us as we present Stanley Baker died at 48 years old, his early death is still tragic. Stanley Baker's life and career Stanley Baker was a prominent British actor and film producer, known for his dynamic performances in over 70 films and television series from the 1940s to the 1970s. He was born February 28, 1928, in Ferndale, Wales, and came from humble beginnings. Baker grew up in a working-class family, experiencing the hardships typical of the mining communities in South Wales during that era. His father worked as a coal miner, and young Stanley witnessed firsthand the demanding and dangerous nature of the profession. Despite these challenging circumstances, Baker developed a strong work ethic and a determination to pursue a different path. Although as a youngster, he first thought he'd either become a coal miner or perhaps a professional boxer. But eventually, he found the arts. While attending school, Stanley actively participated in drama clubs and community theater productions. Recognizing his talent and potential, his teachers encouraged him to pursue a career in acting. As an acting student, Stanley developed a reputation for his intensity and commitment to his roles. Following his graduation from RADA, Baker made his screen debut in the film Underground Gorillas, released in 1943. Though his initial roles were minor, his talent and screen presence were evident. He struggled to make a name for himself, though, through much of the 40s and 50s. But he continued on. Stanley's breakthrough came with the film Zulu in 1964, where he starred alongside Michael Caine. The movie, based on the real-life Battle of Rourke's Drift during the Anglo-Zulu War, showcased his ability to portray complex characters with depth and authenticity. His performance in Zulu catapulted him to international fame and established him as a leading man and a great character actor in British cinema. Not content with just acting, Baker also ventured into film production, co-founding the production company Oakhurst Productions. Through his venture, he produced and starred in several successful films, including Robbery and Perfect Friday. His dedication to his craft and commitment to pushing creative boundaries made him a respected figure in the industry. While his untimely death in 1976 marked the end of a remarkable career, Stanley Baker's legacy lives on in the films he left behind and the indelible mark he made on British cinema. His early life and career reflect the journey of a determined and talented person who rose above adversity. Stanley Baker's Work Stanley Baker was known for his intensity and versatility, and he left an indelible mark on cinema with his powerful performances. Zulu was his breakthrough and remains one of his best. Directed by Cy Enfield, the movie depicts the historical Battle of Rourke's Drift in the Anglo-Zulu War. He delivers a captivating performance as Lt. John Chard, a military engineer tasked with leading a small group of soldiers defending a mission station against a massive Zulu army. His portrayal of Chard showcases his ability to convey strength, determination, and vulnerability. The film remains a classic, lauded for its epic scale and powerful storytelling. In Guns of Navarone, Stanley stars alongside an ensemble cast, including Gregory Peck, David Niven, and Anthony Quinn. Directed by J. Lee Thompson, this World War II epic follows a group of Allied commandos on a daring mission to destroy a pair of massive German cannons on the Greek island of Navarone. Stanley plays Corporal Butcher Brown, a tough and resourceful soldier. His performance adds depth to the character, portraying a man haunted by his past actions. The film's thrilling action sequences and intense performances earned it critical acclaim and many accolades. Baker's talent for bringing historical figures to life is evident in Zorro. In this adventure film, directed by Duccio Tessari, Baker takes on the iconic role of the swashbuckling hero Don Diego de la Vega, also known as Zorro. Set in 19th century California, the movie follows Zorro's quest to protect the oppressed against a corrupt governor. Baker's portrayal captures the charisma and charm of Zorro, delivering a charismatic and captivating performance. Another notable film is The Cruel Sea, directed by Charles Friend. Set during World War II, the film tells the story of a Royal Navy Corvette 
tasked with escorting convoys and engaging German U-boats in the treacherous Atlantic Ocean. Stanley plays the role of Lieutenant Commander George Erickson, a seasoned naval officer grappling with the harsh realities of war. His nuanced performance portrays the physical and emotional toll that the conflict takes on the crew. The cruel sea remains a poignant and gripping depiction of the naval war experience. Billion Dollar Brain is a spy thriller directed by Ken Russell in which Baker portrays Harry Palmer, a former British intelligence agent. The film follows Palmer as he becomes embroiled in a complex conspiracy involving a right-wing extremist organization. Baker's portrayal of Palmer displays his ability to bring a sense of grit and realism to the character, adding depth to the film's espionage narrative. Stanley's filmography also includes notable works like Hell is a City, Accident, Robbery, and Perfect Friday. Through his memorable roles in these films and many others, Stanley Baker solidified his status as one of Britain's finest actors. Stanley Baker died at 48 years old. His early death is still tragic. Stanley has left an enduring legacy in British cinema, but his life was tragically cut short when he passed away June 28, 1976, at age 48 after a long battle with lung cancer. Baker's untimely death marked the end of a remarkable career, but his contributions to the film industry and his impact on British cinema continue to resonate. To this day, almost five decades after his passing, he's still considered one of the most important figures in British cinema. In addition to his creative endeavors, Baker was also known for his philanthropy and support for charitable causes. He remained connected to his Welsh roots and actively supported initiatives related to the arts and the mining communities he hailed from. His commitment to giving back and preserving Welsh heritage endeared him to many, further cementing his legacy as not just an actor, but also a compassionate person. His influence on British cinema can't be overstated. His performances continue to captivate audiences, and his impact on the industry paved the way for future generations of actors. He was part of the generation of actors that included Sir Michael Caine, who came from working-class backgrounds at a time when there was much prejudice against anyone who wasn't from the elite of Britain. He broke barriers to become a star. Furthermore, his work as a producer and his willingness to take creative risks contributed to the evolution of British film. His dedication to pushing boundaries and telling compelling stories helped shape the industry and influenced filmmakers who came after him. Today, Stanley's legacy lives on in the films he left behind. His death is still tragic, but his legacy remains wonderful. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of Stanley Baker? What do you think of him and the fact that he managed to accomplish so much despite his early death? Let us know in the comments section below.